So what happens when you put two Jersey girls in a fancy grocery store? And one of them happens to be Martha Stewart. Monica Guy finds out as she catches up with a domestic diva. Well, first of all, to be in New Jersey where I was born, today would be my mother's 108th birthday. And, uh, and I've known soon Leonard and his family since 1972. That's why Martha Stewart said she was happy to be at the welcome party for the newest Stu Leonard's location in Paramus, New Jersey. During her career as a caterer, Martha was known to buy the ingredients for some of her recipes at the stores. She shopped at the store all the time. I was just talking to her this morning and she remembers putting quarters in the milk machine that we had back then. So she's been with us for years. One thing she always loved was the, our little animal farm with our, with our animals there. She loved this one little cow, so we figured in honor of her tonight, we brought another cow, and we're going to name it Martha tonight. Stu Leonard Jr. wasn't kidding. In fact, there were two cows on hand at the store. But only one was given the moniker of Martha. Fans who turned out to see the human Martha, though, weren't disappointed. Oh, it's very, very exciting being in northern New Jersey girl myself, having a northern New Jersey girl come in and help Paramus uh, welcome this new supermarket is just makes it even better. Stu Leonard's is carrying a line of Martha Stewart meal kits and coffees. The store brings 350 new jobs to Paramus, occupying the space that was once a Sears store. Stu Leonard's opens to the general public at 8 on Wednesday morning. Reporting for Chasing News from Paramus, New Jersey, I'm Monica Guy.